All right, what's up, everybody? Peter Gilmer here for another video right here on the Metal God 669 channel. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video. Hit the subscribe button down below. Subscribe to all, all my other channels. Links all down below in the description box. And as always, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and that too. And share this video all over the internet. Most importantly, tap that bell, turn on all my notifications, so you never, ever, ever miss an upload. And that's pretty much all you gotta do. So, do it, motherfuckers. Alright, apologize for the, the lighting in the room. You know, I had a bright light, uh, my, my shade is... My shade is up, and I don't want to mess with it because it takes it takes because it's a pain in the ass to get back to you know the way it is right now. So, and plus it's hot as fuck in my house, so I wanted to get into a different room where it's not so hot. Like my living room is fucking boiling right now, but even with the fan on, it's like 87 degrees in here. Good lord, that's the way the summer summer is. Sucks. Anyway, speaking of things that suck, you know, I was um just floating around YouTube over the past couple of, last hour and a half, almost two hours now, just floating around the internet, just checking my my uh my Instagram, my Twitter, and um. All the other shit, you know, dealing with, dealing with a mindless troll named Matthew Jones. Fuck you, man! Good job exposing me on Twitter, David Dick. Good job with your fake, fake shit. Bye bye to you. But anyway, uh, you know, in in any event, uh, you know. Mine is that garbage. Uh, yeah, I got a, a notification from uh, from Facebook. Even though I'm banned, but I can still get notifications from Facebook. But you know, and I did I did a quickie little thirty minute thirty thirty minute thirty second video about this on my Instagram, which you can, you can just go to and just check out my reaction to this, but I want to do a, a full reaction to this mind-blowing news over the last couple weeks. Shut up. Anyway, this is pissing me off as usual. So, it is what it is. And, um, Anyway, I just want to give my uh, my thoughts and uh, reaction to the heartbreaking news that we found out today about the passing of former Slipknot drummer Joey Jordanson, who uh, passed away in his sleep yesterday. We found out to just you know, a couple hours ago about his passing, and um, I got a like I said, I got a notification from Facebook. I'm like, what? You know, I'm like, Joey Jordanson's dead. I'm like, what the fuck? So, you know, I'm like, please, I'm like, you know, like, I'm like, you know, as, as all uh, debts go, you know, you have to get the facts. So, I'm like, please don't make, don't, please don't make, don't, don't let this be true. I mean, we can't lose a great drummer like Joey. And I didn't even know he was sick or anything like that. But it is true. I looked on loud. I mean, Loudwire uh, on Inst Instagram. That one on Instagram already said it. Uh, Slipknot uh, itself on Twitter and in Instagram that confirmed it. Uh, a couple of uh, music uh, channels on um, on YouTube like Rockfeed and um, all the. You know, all the other uh, 
heavy metal rock music channels on YouTube. They, inconf- they confirmed it. So, you know, I went on Twitter. I'm like, please don't make, don't, please don't let this be true. So I had to, you know, I had to go to blab, blab the mouth. That's what all the trolls are. Blah, blah, mouths. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I went on blah, blah, mouth and I went on Loudwire and sadly, you know, I uh, have the unfortunate uh, duty to do this video. I didn't want to. I hate doing these type of videos, but it gets me a lot of views, so it is what it is. And I'm not, you know, profiting off, 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 off this shit. I don't have monetization like some people we know. You know who. I don't profit off the dead. I don't monetize my videos. I don't even have monetization on any of my channels. So, so I could care less about getting money from the dead or anything. Just I'd rather just get a lot of views and everything. But, and comments and stuff. And dislikes from, from the trolls that have no fucking life. And no heart, no soul. So when... Your family members die. I'm going to piss on your grave. It is what it is. But anyway, yeah, Joey Jordison is confirmed that he has passed away at the age of 46 years old. So he's basically a year, uh, two years older than me. Good Lord. I, I thought he was like 50 or something like that. But, you know, he's 46. I'm 44. He's 46. Anyway, uh, yeah, he, had, he passed away in his sleep last night. Uh, no, well, no real cause of death. A lot of people saying it might have been a drug overdose. But you just can't die in your sleep. Unless there's a, you have a medical condition or something happened. Though. So, I don't know. But, I would think the most po- probable cause is probably a drug overdose. Not that I, I thought that he, he did drugs. I mean, or anything like that. Um... But still, I mean, if you look, I mean, you looked at recent pictures of him, you know, he had a beard, you know, a, you know, he had some scruff on, he had, he had a beard and stuff like that. Um, but I didn't notice anything wrong with the guy. You know, in the, in the recent years, I mean, I met him uh, with John Five and Rob Zombie because I think Joey was uh, doing the drumming for Rob Zombie. Um. And by the way, this was at the Roadrunner tent. So, <laughs> I automatically got pictures with them. So, pfft. it's on my Instagram, by the way. So, you can go check it out. Um, so, I'm not lying or anything like that. But I know all you trolls are like, oh, he's lying. Go, go check my Instagram. Go through my pictures. It's there. Dumbasses. Anyway, yeah, I went to, I think it was Mayhem or Uproar. I think it was the, it could have been one of one of them, um, that um, yeah, Rob Zombie and Corn. I think it was Rob. Yeah, I think it was Rob Zombie or Corn was um, was headlining, and um, you know, you know, I went to met. I mean, I, I really went, one I went online to meet Rob Zombie. Well, I didn't have to go online. I just pa- bypassed the line. And um, I met Rob Zombie. I, I took a picture with uh, John Five's guitars. I took a picture with John Five, and Joey was right next to him. And uh, it kind of gave me this, this weird look, like every like, like he didn't want to be. Uh, he didn't want to be. You know, he doesn't really like to take pictures m- with fans that much. But it is what it is. But still, he is a prominent drummer of the late '90s, the new metal era. Uh, he was the, uh, basically the founder of Slipknot with, uh, you know, Sid's clown, uh, Sid the Clown. I don't know about, uh, a good buddy, uh, Corey Taylor, but I know that, uh, Clown and, and, uh, Joey did form the band. Uh, then later on they added a lot of people, you know, like, uh, you know, Paul Gray, you know, rest in peace, Paul Gray. So, two members of Slipknot are now in heaven. You know, Paul Gray, the ba- the original bass player, and now the original drummer, Joey Jordan, is now banging 
bang you know skins in heaven with you know Neil Peart and uh John Bottom and uh and uh, Di oh, not Dimebag uh Vinny Vinny Paul get your Paul you know all those great dramas that I passed on those three great oh two great drummers and well three great drummers I said you know you know John Bonham fr freaking Neil Peart of Rush and and Vinnie Paul of Pantera and Damage Plan and um that's that and uh yeah so now and now uh, Jody Jordanson has passed away and he's been in um Slipknot uh, for he, he was in Slipknot for a while I think up until the fifth album um. Yeah, he 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 wasn't on the last couple albums because they, I cut they kind of parted ways and then he went his separate ways. He was in Scars of Martyr. Uh, he had some one-off things. He uh, he he uh filled in for lawyers. What's up, the news? Lawyers, you know. Oh, he filled in for lawyers on a couple of Metallica shows. Um. He was also he did also did drumming from corn. That was awesome. And uh it it is what it is. And um you hear the loud noise in a in a freaking, you know, background. But it went off thankfully. Um Yeah, so he's been in different bands and stuff, you know, influenced a lot of people, like Mike Portnoy and countless other new drummers out there. And um, you know he was he was a showman, you know. You know, every time we do a drum solo, you know, back on the you know, the Iowa tour or the uh, the All Hope Is Gone tour, you know, you he, he you would see him like drumming, and then you know, like he would be on a, like a riser, and then it'd be like a circle, like a pentagram circle, and and the circle he'd be just drumming, and it would go in a circle and everything. So it's kind of come was kind of emulating Tommy Lee a little bit. But, I mean, nobody can emulate Tommy Lee with, with the drum sets he's had and the drum solos he's had. I mean, with, you know, the freaking uh, roller coaster and all that stuff. I can only imagine what he does on the, uh, that big tour with, with, uh, Poison and Def Leppard and Joan Jett and company. I can only imagine what that drum set's gonna look like and what... What that drum solo might be, I you know it's gonna be an arena tour, so I doubt like anything big from Tommy Lee, but you never know. This is a stadium tour, like they're gonna be at MetLife, not not MetLife, City Field in June of 2022. Probably everybody be wearing a fucking mask because this fucking Delta variant's going completely berserk, and now everybody, uh, you know, school's about to start, and all the kiddies from K to 12. I have to uh, go at the mask up. It is what it, it is. What it is. Can you freaking lower that fucking TV? I swear, like every time I put on Netflix, the the mute, the fucking the fucking volume goes up. Not my TV. I think it's just Netflix, but it is what it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, you know, just a shame that Joey has, uh, passed away, and it sucks. It just sucks hearing about a, uh, uh, a prominent drummer or a guitarist, like, you know, Eddie Van, we lost Eddie Van Halen, like, months ago. You know, we lost DMX a couple months ago. We lost Bismarck Key about a week or so ago. Last few years have just been really, really fucked up. And it is what it is. I mean, like I said, I didn't know Joey had a medical condition or was taking drugs or anything like that. And come to find out today, he passed away in his sleep. That's fucked up, man. That's a, that's a sucky way to go, man. That's all I gotta say about that. And um 
it is what it is, and that's all I gotta say about that. So, rest in peace, Joey Jordanson. Uh, influenced a lot of fans, all the all the maggots, you know, the Slipknot fans, what they call maggots. The post of the maggots and all that stuff. They're they're crying up a storm today. Uh, Slipknot put up a thing on their Twitter and their on their uh, Instagram. Uh, Joey George's family uh, put up a statement saying, you know, they're sad about what happened. Uh, there's going to be a fu- a private funeral, I think. Thursday or later this week, uh, but as always, you know, we have to res- respect their privacy and everything, so it is what it is, so that's going to be a very sad day for the Jordanson family, because they lost a son, they lost maybe, I don't know if Joey was uh, married or had a girlfriend or kids or anything like that, so it just sucks, man, it just sucks, and I expect, like, Slip not supposed to do the, uh, you know, not fest this year, and and um, I know it's going to L.A., uh, so I would I, I would expect like something special for, in to pay tribute to Joey on the tour and stuff like that. Maybe there'll be like a special album or a DVD comes out with some of Joey's great moments and stuff. Kind of like what they did with Paul Gray, when um, they made uh the fifth album, uh, point five, the Paul Gray uh, project or whatever it was called. That whole album was basically in memory to Paul Gray. Great album. So, I would, you know... I mean, who knows, uh, with uh, Slipknot, if the, the, the next album, which is supposed to be Iowa-esque, could be in tribute to uh, Joey. But... It is what it is, and... Uh, that's all I gotta say about that. So my my thoughts and prayers go to the Jordanson family. Uh, you know I'm gonna have to so I'm gonna have to listen to uh, old school uh, Slipknot over the next couple of days. You know first the first album, I mean Iowa, and then uh, you know Disaster Piece, and uh, well that's the, that's a live album, Live 9.0. Yeah, they made the live album. Uh, all Hope is Gone. And then, um, I think the fourth album, and maybe, I think, I don't think he was on, uh, uh, the Paul Gray album, so I know he was on the new album, you know, you know, we, he, I know he wasn't on We Are Not Your Kind, because it was, you know, they had a new, they have a new drummer now, um, pretty good, they have a new bass player, they have, Couple of, another, I think another new guy, Nacho Man or whatever the, f- what guy, the guy's name is. Um, it is what it is, and uh, that's all I gotta say about that. So leave me your thoughts and um, opinions and um, comments uh, about the life and the memory of Joey Jordanson. You know, any memories you might have or uh, favorite concerts you went to with Joey or if you met Joey. You talk to him, if he let you talk to him, but he was kind of a private guy, but it is what it is. And um, that's all I got to say about it. So leave me your thoughts and comments down below. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. So don't forget to subscribe to my channels, this channel, all the other channels as well down below. Uh, share the video all over the internet. Don't forget to tap that bell. Get notified when I do a video. And, uh, Leave a comment, like I said. Uh, yeah, like the video. Please like the video. Don't dislike the video. Don't be a dick. But I know there's a, a whole bunch of dicks out there. You know, all these fucking trolls. I don't give a shit. Just dislike my videos, even if it's, if it's a death video. Just dislike for the sake, the sake of disliking, because I have no fucking soul and no fucking heart. Just saying, when your when your family members or whoever dies, you're gonna get the same shit, and we're gonna piss on your graves. So it is what it is. Actually, for maybe for at one day, for one day, can you can can you just not dislike a video, especially a death video? But it is what it is. You can't you can't tell the trolls what to do. They'll do whatever the fuck they want. They don't give a shit. 
but karma will come come to them pretty soon and that's all I gotta say about that the Lord will judge you when you get up there he will judge you and he will say you know that you're just liking all these death videos and making fun of the dead and profiting off the dead you won't go to you won't go through the gates of heaven you go into purgatory and it's all I gotta say about that so thank you all for watching rest in peace Joy Jordanson bang those fucking skins in heaven with Vin, with Vinnie Paul and John Bonham and all the other greats, all the other drummers that have passed on. In that big concert hall in the sky. You know, that's pretty damn big, you know, with you know, with Randy Rose and Eddie Van Halen, Chuck Berry and Jimi Hendrix and the list goes on and on and on. And that's all I gotta say about that. So thank you for watching. Uh NXT coming up in just about an hour or so. Uh, I'll probably do my review later on the Peter Gilmore channel, so check that out. Even though NXT is taped tonight, they got some good stuff on tonight, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. But I'll talk about NXT later. But for now, I'm Peter Gilmore signing out, and um, all we gotta say is uh, live, you know, live, live. Live life like it's your it's your last day. Take each day as it comes, like it might be your last day, because you never know when the Lord will call. Just take it one day at a time. That's all I gotta say. That's my, just my 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 honest advice. Just take each day uh, as it comes, and and always thank the Lord that uh, you're still alive. And that's all I gotta say about that. Thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you guys later. Rock on and rock hard.